What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon 3D, which I am actually <laughs> recording live from MAGFest, so you might hear some buttholes in the background. So we're going to start off once again in Professor Elm's lab because the Pokemon have actually been heavily updated and that there's like a million new Pokemon in the game. Starting off with the starters here, before we had the Kanto starters, which I always thought was kind of weird, I didn't really get why, but now we actually have the Johto starters, which is more appropriate to this game since it's the based on the second generation. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Totodile, but just to show it off, we do have Cyndaquil there and then Chikorita, which... Uh, I don't, I don't like Chikorita that much, so we're not going to go ahead and pick Chikorita. We're going to pick Totodile here, so that is how we're going to begin. I know that every time we get a new update, I kind of have to start over, but it's just because new stuff keep coming into the game, so that's pretty much why I do it. So we're going to nickname our new partner here, Jaws, and I'm actually going to go through and beat the whole little story once again and get back up to where we were last episode, which is Violet City. Um, last time we did the Sprout Tower and stuff, so if you want to check that out, uh, the previous video was episode 4, we did the Rival Battle and the Sprout Tower, so if you want to check that out, that will probably be in the related videos, or I will put a link somewhere. So, so let's go on ahead to the next update. So as part of this update, like I said, there's a lot of new Pokemon, and that includes new Pokemon here in Route 46, which was previously just didn't have any Pokemon in it, so I guess we have a Raditza here. I also found a Spearow, and apparently every single Pokemon from first and second generation has already been implemented into the game. It's just a matter of, you know, finding them on what route, and I think as far as I've seen so far, should probably check this out, but um, all the Pokemon that are in it are, you know, in the routes that they're supposed to be, like, or they would be in Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal. So like I said, a bunch of new Pokemon have been added to the game, and that includes here in Route 46, which was previously void of any Pokemon at all. There weren't any here, and now we actually have Famfy here. I think actually all the Pokemon from first and second generation have been implemented into the game now, but it's just a matter of finding where they are in the game. I don't know if it goes by Gold and Silver, where all the Pokemon that are in those games are found exactly in the same places in this game, but Famfy is in this route, which I don't really remember if that's normal, but I saw Spearow in here as well, and Raditas, so this route now actually has Pokemon, so you can go ahead and explore and find whatever might be hiding in the grass here. And a little annoying thing that I guess it's a bug in this version is a little line that's actually there in the battle. I don't really know what that is, but it's there and it's a little bit annoying, but it'll probably be fixed. It's like the kind of underline that you get when you're trying to type something in a document. So I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be there, so hopefully that's fixed sometime soon. So we're going to check out the rival battle real quick because I feel like these new second gen Pokemon don't have all their moves, I guess. The first gen Pokemon had like Growl and then they learned Ember later on, but I've got Jaws here at level 8 now. We're going to see if the arrival here, yep, does have Chikorita, so I don't know what he'll have. He is at level 5, so probably nothing other than like Tackle, but yeah, no other new moves on the second gen Pokemon. That's probably still not all the way work through, but I do know that there's a lot of new moves and animations, so we'll have to check that out. As you can see from the title of the video, we're doing the gym later on, so hopefully uh, there's some flying type moves because that would greatly help out in like Sprout Tower. So let's check it out. So I actually haven't ever shown off catching a Pokemon. I guess we might as well try it out now on this Pidgey because if any flying Pokemon is going to have any flying type moves, it'd be this one since it's the one that the gym leader uses. So let's go ahead and show that off since I've never done it before and it's probably one of the most highly requested features I guess that I haven't shown off. So there it goes into the little Pokeball. It does its little usual shaking about. It actually shakes a lot more than a normal Pokeball or at least it feels like a lot more. It's actually probably the same, but there we go. We caught ourselves a Pidgey. We get to, to nickname it. I, I don't. We're going to nickname this Pidgey, not influenced by what I've been eating at all, but it's an awesome nickname, so there you go. So now that we know that Pokemon actually go by how they are in Pokemon Gold and Silver, we're actually going to check out Dark Cave here, which has a Geodude, so that's pretty cool. I actually came in here a little bit earlier and saw a Teddy Ursa, but as you can see, a little bit of a visual bug. The music here is awesome now, though, not the uh, whatever it was before music. I think it was the Rue music or New Bark Town, so now it actually has some really cool music. I don't know if it's the original Dark Cave music, but hey, Zubats are in it now, so those of you guys that really wanted to see Zubats, I know that there's a lot of you. Raise your hand out there. I know that there's at least one person out there in the world that wants a Zubat in this game. So those are in here now, which is going to make caves so much more exciting. We also have Dunsparce. But yeah, as you can see, the battle sort of animation is still a forest. So that obviously is going to be fixed eventually. And it keeps the weather effects of whatever 
you know, the route is outside. So, I actually saw a Teddy Ursa in here earlier, which is only in Pokemon Crystal, which lets me know that there are actually Pokemon from Crystal as well in these games. So, kind of have to look into all three of the games together to know sort of what Pokemon are in each route, but it should give you a pretty dang good idea of what's in each route. Hey, it's a Ladybug! That's a nice little Pokemon. I would assume that Spinarax are also in here, because they're the counterpart to Ladybug, so you can catch those in here now. And unfortunately, Pringles is dead now. So here we are in Violet City, which has now been completely implemented into the game. So all the NPCs, all the houses should be functional without an error popping up. Let's go ahead and check it out. We've got this house is actually working. What's up with you, old man? Pokemon, you gotta trade grows quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. Alright, so we can see that now all the houses are fully functioning, and that is awesome. No more... No more glitching into doors and stuff that used to happen here. Do we have the little the little ledge sound? Nope, that's still not in there. Oh well, maybe, maybe it'll be in there eventually. So let's go ahead and check out the trainer school. Oh, I guess this isn't this isn't in here yet, but at least they don't let you go in so that it doesn't like glitch you into the wall, so that's better. I just don't it just wasn't that cool with glitches in it, so at least the houses that aren't in it yet are like fixed. So anyway, the big thing for today's episode is obviously the gym, but I don't want to do that just yet. I'm going to leave it for the ending. So we're actually going to go ahead on to the next route after the gym. Actually, I don't know if we can actually do it now because since there's new like trainers or new NPCs, the dude that stops you um, until you beat the gym might actually be there. So let's go on to this route with the magnet train. Apparently there's not Pokemon in here, even though like all the Pokemon are in the game now. So I guess they just need to be, you know, like coded into the routes themselves so so far our story is up to violet city we have been filled with all the pokemon that are supposed to be in the game but they're still not like programmed into the routes and whatnot so over in this area of violet city first off we have this building here we got two girls i guess i don't know what's up with them here's the name of her favorite things she eats for the nickname she gives her pokemon so we're gonna see that there is actually a pidgey over here look at that little thing how are you doing, buddy? It's going okay, Strawberry the Pidgey. What a nice guy. Because I don't, I don't do that. Wow, I actually just realized the coincidence that I actually just nicknamed my Pokemon after something I ate. So that's a little bit funny. I didn't even think of that. But the thing that I did want to show off that was in the last update and I didn't show off is actually over there. You might be able to see a familiar face in Mr. Sudowoodo right here. It was actually put in here in the last uh, update, but I never checked it out. And obviously you can't do anything with it yet because there's no squirt bottle, so it's just kind of there. And you can't really do anything with it. That's, that's a little bit weird, but we're going to go on ahead and probably do Sprout Tower. Little update to Sprout Tower, there are actually wild Pokemon in here now, so let's see if we can run into a couple of those. They're supposed to be Gastly's and Rattata's as far as I know. And actually, the moment of truth, Pringles goes to level 9 and doesn't learn a move, so I guess there isn't any gust, which means that Faulkner's probably not going to be as tough as I expected. And here we actually have a new event here in Sprout Tower. We've got Mr. Ginger, our rival here, actually talking to Elder Lee. Don't really know what's up with that, but I guess they added that into it, and maybe actually the HM as well, because I think here you get Flash when you beat Elder Lee, so there he goes off on a tantrum once again. Uh, him and his ginger problems, and I guess they walk us over to Elderly automatically, so let's go ahead and take him on once again. I did take him on in the last episode already, and he's more than likely going to have the same Pokemon, so let's just go ahead and beat him. And when you beat him, of course we do an excellent job. And there we go, we beat him. We get Flash HM, HM1, sort in the machine's pocket, and uh, yeah, we do get that, so we do need the badge to actually use it, and I don't have any Pokemon that can actually learn it, so... We'll see if you can actually use it or not in a bit. And now we're heading into the gym, the Violet City Gym, which was actually here in the last version, but didn't have any trainers. Now it actually does have trainers. So we're going to go ahead and take it on. We're going to start with this dude over here. I actually finished up Sprout Tower, and I believe everyone should be at a decent level. And by everyone, I just mean Pringles and Jaws, which are my only Pokemon. But hey, let's send out Pringles, and we're going to take these guys on. Obviously, a bummer here is that there are no, like, flying type moves so it really makes the gym kind of bland in that everything is just gonna use tackle and that's kind of what I'm hoping for in like an upcoming version like a new or um, a, a close upcoming version or you know I don't know whatever uh, 
And that's kind of what I'm hoping for in the next version, or an upcoming version, probably sometime soon, because without, you know, flying type moves, uh, flying type gym isn't really that exciting, because everything is just going to use tackle on you, so... There goes the first Bird Keeper, let's go ahead and take out the next one here. Pringles has actually become the highest level, which is kind of surprising, but what is up with these dudes' eyes? I don't think they're supposed to be that way. They just, just kind of have one dot as eyes. Oh, it's a little bit weird, but let's go ahead and take this guy on next. Bird Keeper Rod. It's a beautiful name. So let's go ahead and send out Pringles here, and then we can take out Faulkner, who I'm guessing is going to have his usual Pokemon from Gold and Silver. I don't really remember Crystal that much, or sorry, Gold and Silver. I did play a lot of Crystal, but I don't know if the Pokemon are actually different, so we'll see how, we'll see what he has. I, I'm gonna guess it's like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or something like that, because so far the Pokemon in the routes have been just like Gold and Silver with a little bit of Crystal as well, so maybe it does go by Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I don't know, I didn't really check that out, but we did see Turdy Ursa in that one cave, and it also had the Pokemon from Gold and Silver, so that's what we're going by. Anyway. Let's take out this second Pidgey here, and then take on Faulkner, which is the main main event for today, probably. Let's see if he actually gives us a badge or not, because I don't know if that will be in it. But if he does, then we can actually use Flash outside of battle, apparently, because we did get that now in the Sprout Tower. So, so we're going to take on Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader, who uses Flying-type Pokemon, but since there's no Flying-type moves, all he's pretty much has got is Tackle, so... It's not really a flying type gym. I actually had to do a lot of training, and by training I mean I figured out how to level up Jaws here, but I was hoping he would evolve, but he didn't. He's level 16, and hopefully we can take out Faulkner here because, I don't know, his Pidgeotto is just weird. But now we actually do a lot of damage to him, so hopefully we do take him out because we don't have Water Gun or anything, so it's kind of hard to take him out with just Scratch. But, hey, at level 16 we're actually pretty dang strong, so we can actually take his Pidgeotto out, hopefully, and get the badge and actually see if we can use Flash as well because we got that in Sprout Tower. So that's kind of weird. Like, the Johto Pokemon don't learn any moves and don't evolve right now. Hopefully that's fixed soon because it's kind of annoying and this Pidgeotto still barely takes any damage for some reason, but that's cool. It's probably going to kill us here. We do still have Pringles, so hopefully Pringles can actually take this guy out. Oh man, you've been awesome, Jaws. Not really, you kind of died. And I did put in a Lugia, but that didn't really work either. I was messing around with the Pokemon.dat where you can actually like put in any Pokemon that you want, or the Player.dat in the in the files. So hopefully Pringles here can actually take out Pidgeotto, which, oh gosh, it's getting pretty close. We're getting down to it. If not, then we do also have... Oh, okay, it's done. Nice. So we take out Pidgeotto, and with that, we beat the... What, what gym is this? Oh, the Violet City Gym! The first gym in the game, which it was a lot less exciting than I thought because the dude didn't even have any flying type moves, so. We get the Pokemon League Zephyr Badge, and with that, we can probably use Flash outside of battle, so it raises the attack of Pokemon and enables you to use Flash, but that was the Violet City Gym. No flying type moves yet, but hopefully in the next version they actually have those, and the Johto Stutters actually work. Let's, let's hope. But that has been it for version 0.19. So, see you guys next time as we take a look at the next version.